Yes guys, welcome back to Bits Rugby, a different video on the channel today. It's a bit of an experiment that we are doing today. Now you may be aware of an app called Wish, which is a Chinese owned company, which sell anything and everything on there. You can buy anything from, uh, from electronics to food to even drugs. I'm not advocating it, but you can get drugs on there. But you can also buy rugby shirts. And I decided to buy a rugby shirt a little bit ago. And I decided to buy a bulk of rugby shirts just to see what the quality is like. Now, Wish can be hit and miss. Sometimes you get a really good product, and other times you're struggling to find something decent. But today we're going to go through the rugby shirts that I have found, compare them to the price that you'd pay if you're paying from a big retailer, and see if it's worth the money. So if you're excited for this one, and if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video, and let's get into it. So the shirt that I'm currently wearing is not a uh, Wish shirt that I bought, it's actually a Lovell Rugby, which is probably the top uh, rugby shop I would say here in the UK. They sell most of the national teams and most of the Premiership Pro 14 teams, but we're going to go through the shirts now, starting with this one. Now this is a bit of a different one, I saw this online on Wish, and the price for it will come up on your screen now and the price you would pay for it as well it's an albania rugby top yes albania i didn't know albania had a rugby team but they do albania rugby top i saw it because i just liked it it looks good and it's extremely comfortable to wear what's nice it's got this back bit here which says albania on it and the badge of course is there as well so Albania is the first one that I got and I think the quality of it is brilliant so Albania the first one gets a tick from me the next one we head over to Ireland to one of the provinces It's the first of three Irish tops that I have and this first one is a beauty it is Ulster rugby I know I got a lot of Irish fans here on the channel so you'll appreciate this if you're an Ulster fan it's Ulster. Again, the price will come up on the screen and how much you would pay for it. This is last season's shirt, so 2018-19 season. And here it is. And again, it's pretty much exactly the same as what you'd buy from the shop, but you can't really tell the difference. And I'll explain how Wish works as we go throughout the video. But this looks pretty good to me. Worn it quite a lot. Um, very comfortable. Not heavy at all. Feels good. So Ulster is that one. So if you're unsure about how Wish works, it's simply an app where these Chinese companies, they've bought big bulks of uh, different things and simply they can't sell them. So they sell them a lot cheaper. The delivery takes two to three weeks to arrive, uh, where maybe if you're buying through Lovell Rugby or Amazon, it might take a couple of days or so. But these tend to take two to three weeks. But if you can wait that long and get a bargain, there's nothing wrong with it. The next shirt is this one, it's a Haguarez shirt, the team from Argentina which plays Super Rugby, it's the away shirt from last season. So Haguarez, this I believe is the real deal, I don't think it's a fake as far as I'm aware. Um, I've seen a few uh, shirts lying around on shops and things, I'm pretty sure this is the real deal. So yeah, again the price is on your screen and how much you'd pay for it in real life is on the screen as well comfortable a bit bright maybe but i've worn it when argentina have been playing in the rugby world cup next up we have an international shirt now this one is a fake it is a fake but you can't really tell it's a scotland shirt from a couple of years ago now um the reason i know it's a fake is because of the badge here it hasn't actually got um scotland's actual logo on it therefore this is a fake but for what i paid for it really really happy it's on your screen again really happy with that purchase we head back to ireland for the next one this is a fake as well it is a monsters away kit from a few seasons ago it's got the stag on it i love it i just loved it because of the stag and the way it looks i think it's brilliant but this badge here is fake in fact the embroidery is not well done and also, um, the pattern is actually wrong on it if you look very, very closely. If you look closely, you can see that the embroidery is not really the best that it could be. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. It's not the most comfortable fit, I'm not going to lie. It's a bit heavy on the shoulders, but otherwise, it's a decent little shirt. The next one we stay in Ireland 
and we have a Leinster shirt. This is one of my favourite purchases that I've ever made. I love the pattern on it, I love the colour, I think it's so so good and it's the real deal. There's been a lot of talk on Leinster forums on Facebook about people have bought this shirt off Wish. People are like, you shouldn't do that, you're kind of ripping the clubs off. But in reality, if you're thinking that you have to pay 80 euros or 80 pounds for this, and yet you can get it for 10, 15 pounds, then you're gonna buy it off there. And I, I think it's a brilliant shirt, it's super comfortable. It's my favorite shirt that I've bought off Wish. The next one, we have an international side. This, once again, is a fake. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, you'll be able to tell in a second. But it's the French kit from two years ago. This is it. It is a fake. The pat, um, the embroidery here is a fake. And, uh, yeah, it, it's not the real deal, quite simply. But, once again, for the price you pay, which is on your screen, you can't really go wrong with it. And I'm super happy with this shirt. So, France's shirt... Needs a wash, actually. It's a bit dirty. But, yeah, really happy. Got the little um, logo on the back as well, which is a nice little touch. So, I'm super happy with that one. So, now we move on to some Rugby World Cup 2019 shirts that I saw on Wish. Now, I've only got a few of them. I think I've got four of them. Um, and there are a few others. Other, so, there's, I've seen Ireland so has been advertised. So, I haven't bought that. So, I don't know what the quality of that's like. But I'm going to go through the ones that I've got. Starting, first of all, with the spring box. Now, this is the official shirt. And for the price I paid, you can't really go wrong with this. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this pattern here, the yellow and the white combining together. The badge as well. And what's really cool in this year's, um, in these, this year's shirts is for teams who have won the World Cup, It'll show you here on the sleeve and it'll give you the year that they won. So 1995 and 2007 for the Springboks. So two World Cups for them. Can they add to it in 2019? It's a good question. But I love the show. Again, one of my favourites along with the Leinster shirts that I purchased. The next Rugby World Cup one is the Hosts. It is Japan shirt. It's quite eye-catching, let's just say that. But again, it's the official shirt. Canterbury have made it. Super comfortable. But yeah. Is quite the eye catcher, isn't it? So with the different colours, the yellow. Again, the badge is the real deal. It's properly embroidered on. You can see there and see the seams that it's embroidered on. It's also got the Japanese flag on one of the sleeves here as well. So yeah, a really nice little addition. And the actual Rugby World Cup logo. It's the proper shirt, this. It's not the plastic on top, which you can feel. It's really embroidered in. And it's top quality, in my opinion. Yeah. It's certainly eye-catching. So the next shirt that I have got is the New Zealand, the All Blacks from this year's Rugby World Cup. And this is a special shirt. Once again, the price will be on your screen for you. Here it is, the All Blacks 2019 Rugby World Cup home shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. It's got the All Blacks, the logo's embroidered in, Adidas have made it. And if you look really, really closely, not sure if you'll be able to see this, but it's got the patterns of indigenous patterns there on the shirt, all over the shirt. I think that's just a brilliant addition. Once again, it's got on the sleeve all the times they've won the World Cups so in 1987, 2011 and 2015 on there. And I just think it's a lovely little addition. And in fact, it's the official one. All blacks added on there. The only um, the only issue maybe with it is that the neck down here, the thing down by the neck, is pretty low down. So it actually comes down to about here. So for a guy, that's okay. For women, maybe not so much. But again, got it off wish. Really, really happy with the quality of it. It's a decent little shirt. And the final shirt is the Crusaders shirt. I absolutely love this one. The only thing that I have maybe with some of the Super Rugby ones are that there's so much advertising, so much sponsorship on the shirts. But you've got to make money from them, obviously. That is the priority. But this is it. A bit of a closer look for you guys. Again, once again, with the logo here, which is actually a plastic uh, embroidered logo. So it's not just um, printed and ironed on. It's actually embroidered right into the shirts. You've got the Super Rugby logo here on the side. Same as the Hagiwares one. And also, you've got the Investec, which is one of their big sponsors on the side here. I also did get a Waratahs one, but being the kind person that I am, I gave it away. But this is it. Here it is, the Crusaders one. 
and I really like this one. So once again, off wish, and you can see the price comparison on the side for you. So there we go, that is all the shirts from Wish. Uh, the total is on your screen now. So for the Wish shirts, it's £167.10. and pence. But if I was to buy all of these off the website without using Wish, it would cost me £667.35. and pence. So in my opinion, certainly worth using Wish. Is it ripping off the bigger shops, the clubs themselves? That's maybe a question for another day. But that is the total. Let me know your thoughts on this video, guys, in the uh, comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and do subscribe. Peace.